Thank you, Mr. Speaker. May is Brain Cancer Awareness Month, so it's very appropriate that this guest comes to our chamber today. I'm very pleased to be joined on the House floor by Beth Ann Telford. Beth Ann, whose home is in my district, in Lower Allen Township, not only ran seven marathons on seven continents in seven days in January, but also is a brain cancer survivor. An avid athlete from a young age, Beth Ann was the first diagnosed with brain cancer in 2005. In the 12 years since, she has undergone multiple surgeries related to the cancer, and she still has active cancer cells in her body, has seizures, and is blind in her left eye. Through it all, Beth Ann was not letting the disease dictate her life. She has completed and finished six Boston marathons, 15 Marine Corps marathons, the Lake Placid Ironman not once, but twice, the Kona Ironman World Championship, and nine-hour rim-to-rim trek of the Grand Canyon. I know that many of you may have seen on the news when we were they were doing stories of her latest accomplishment this past January. Her most recent marathon, as I mentioned in 2017, was the World Marathon Challenge. And it wasn't something that I was aware of until I saw the news reports as to exactly what this is about. It allowed her to run on seven continents in seven days, which included, obviously, she had to get from continent to continent. It started in January, on January 23rd in Antarctica and concluded on January 29th in Australia. She is the only cancer survivor and the only American woman in the race. Beth Ann joined the race to raise global awareness about brain cancer and raise money for research. This was not the first time that Beth Ann had participated, uh, partnered her running love with raising money for brain cancer. She founded a team as part of the Race for Hope DC and has helped raise more than $800,000 for brain cancer research. She has also testified before the FDA, lobbied Congress, and has, had, and has two National Brain Tumor Society grants in her name. Beth Ann has many people that have supported her throughout her time fighting cancer as well as doing all of the races that have been so important to her. Some of those people are here with her today. We're joined today with her family, her mom and dad, Robert and Suzanne Telford. We're joined also by Rob Long and Scott Shirley, the Executive Director of Uplifting, Uplifting Athletes and CEO of Pledget that are here in the back. And some of you may recognize her dad because her dad was a longtime staff employee as he started in the, uh, as a page and then continued on in the mailroom over in the Senate, which he enjoyed. And his daughter, uh, Beth Ann's sister, followed in those footsteps and is a staffer over in uh, the, the Senate as well, and she joins us here today. Would you please stand up? <laughs> Beth Ann Telford is a true inspiration. I don't know many people that would not only fight the cancer, but also fight for the cause. I ask my colleagues to please join me in congratulating her and wish her many more successes as she continues her fight on both fronts. Thank you very much, Beth Ann, and thank you, colleagues. Thank you, Representative Delosier, and thank you, Beth Ann. Congratulations.